Alright, in this video we're going to talk about Photomatics. It's a great program for doing HDR programs. It's a standalone program. It's also a Lightroom plugin. So I put it in Lightroom. I find it's a great way to manage. And this is what I do. I go in and I find uh, the shots that I've already set up for a pre-bracketing. Uh, set it up on the my camera. It's a bracket. And uh, down here I've got uh, a bunch of shots. I took a seven shot bracket. Um, I'm going to take just the best. This one is way overexposed probably. So I'm going to take just the six and I'm going to hold shift, click all the way back to the picture. Now I have six pictures selected. And then if you load in the plugin, you go up here to file, plugin extras, and export to Photomatics. So I'm going to click that and it's going to ask me what do I want to do. So I've got six images. I want to generate an HDR image. I want to reduce uh, the aberrations, reduce the noise. When you go to align, I find that you get a much better result if, if you go by matching features. And then when it asks you what you want to do, you can automatically re-import the file back into Lightroom, which is very handy. Remember, if you uh, gave, an, uh, gave a uh, star award to any one picture, it's not going to have a star on this. Also, you can tell what the output format is going to be. Um, in HDR, we're going all the way up to 32-bit processing, um, but it's only a 16-bit file when it comes back out. So I, I find keeping it as much as we can, 16-bit TIFF is a good way to go. And then just like that, bam, export. Photo or Lightroom is going to spend some time in exporting those shots, and then it's going to take them in to this screen into Photomatics. So we're going to do something. We already uh, did the option here to generate an HDR in Lightroom. So once we're done, it'll pop up and say it's going to start doing some things like aligning the picture and all that. So just take some time. And this is a real-time video here, so uh, we just got to kill some minutes. HDR process stands for high dynamic range. And what we're doing, as you can see, is we're taking pictures uh, that are overexposed, underexposed, and correctly exposed and combining them all together to create a picture that has more dynamic range than what your camera can handle. Uh, it produces some really interesting results. Uh, mind you, HDR can really be too bad. Uh, it can really be obnoxious if done wrong. So Lightroom's finally finishing up here and we should start seeing, there we go, we got the alignment. So it's going to take a minute. It processes. I mean, we, we took a bunch of uh, 32 megabyte images and combining all of them together so we've got a huge file and it's going to spend some time. So we're going to focus on one aspect of HDR which is the uh, detail enhancer option. You'll see that pop up here. So we're doing just through our last three steps. Also with HDR the one thing to note is that if you do it wrong everyone can tell you've done it wrong. You want to make your HDR images look like that's exactly how they came out of the camera. Or sometimes they can really produce some interesting things. So, first thing you see is a horribly ugly picture. That's a combination of everything. Now, we, we do have this map here. It'll show you at, over here, as you put your cursor, what it actually looks like in the picture. Um, we can show the help image. But right here, we're going to go into tone mapping. That's what HDR is really all about. We're going to map the tones in the image itself. So we're going to click that. It's going to spend just a second or two and we get this nice image. So we're going to go to the 1 to 8 scale so we can see most of the image. What I thought was really cool in this picture was the uh, this cloud. I can bring in the histogram here. It was just out of screen. And this is where we're going to go in. We're in the details enhancer and we can look at the picture. You know, overall um, it looks pretty dark. So here's what's cool. We've got all these uh, drop downs, a lot like uh, in Lightroom. So we're going to bring out all the drop downs. And in the white point, we can move the white point on the histogram based off of the graph here. So we want to move this way over. It's going to move our histogram way over. Really changes the picture. You can see we've got some areas that are way overexposed doing it that way. So you bring it down until there's no overexposed elements. Just a little bit more almost there, still not quite there, just a little bit. Alright, one more. 
So we, we had to really bring it down to bring down that white balance. So we can do a few things. We can change the luminosity. We can make the whole thing brighter up here. That'll brighten up the image. And it's pretty subtle adjustment, so we can go much brighter and uh, brighten up. The one thing to notice is that we had all these different exposures. We've got some weird adjustments down here. That's where the smoothing comes in. If I go all the way to minus 10, you can see these are kind of dark. You'll get weird halos. Let's go to the other side of the smoothing. You're going to get a picture that's kind of blah. The foreground isn't popping. The sky's about right. So you want to find a point where it matches, where it can go straight to zero and say, okay, does that work for me? This is one where you just, there is no simple way to say, yep, every picture works like this. In this shot specifically, it looks like maybe just about a middle smoothing is the way to go. Now you can go in here, the light mode is where do you want to be, you know, a mid smoothing, a high smoothing. Uh, I find this is not as accurate. What I want to do is go right here, control it exactly how I want. Uh, the one thing that HDR quite often does is it oversaturates. You know, if you, you let it do the automatic, you can go over here and, and really those colors pop, but that might be a little bit much. Usually somewhere in the 60s is, is about most you want to go. Strength is going to tell you how much it's going to control the HDR. If we go all the way up, you know, it, it really brightens this area and really darkens this area. That's too much of a mix. This is all about blending. If we go down here, that's what the shot looked out with out any HDR tone mapping. So I find again this is somewhere between 50 and probably about 85. You go much beyond that and you're gonna get something that's gonna start looking fake. So we're gonna go in somewhere probably in the low 70s, pick that out. Um, with a black point as well we can pick how dark do we want the image. I, I can say you know I, I don't want those darks to be so dark that'll brighten up some of these dark images there and uh, down there. We can come down here to the temperature. We want to make the picture more to the yellow side. We can go all the way to 10, just like uh, you would with a light, uh, with a white balance control. So we're going to make that just a little bit more yellow than it was. We can con control the saturation of the highlights and the shadows, and this shot uh, really isn't too bad. We're going to control the saturation just a little bit in the highlights. So you see how we got those white marks there. We don't want to go too much, but we don't want them to be. We're trying to create a real image. Uh, the one other adjustment up here that I use quite often is the micro contrast. Take down all the contrast and it's just kind of a flat picture. What it's doing is taking just the small edges of the contrast to make it look real. I find generally you're you're kind of going up towards the stronger side to get it look into the into a more real picture. Uh, I'm often somewhere between three to three to nine on the, on this slider. And uh, we're just going to go, just going off the scene. We've got the histogram to tell us where we are. We got a lot of middle tones in this shot. Um, on the HDR, we're not going to be on the blacks because we would have pure blacks in some of those shots. And we're not going to be on the whites. Your histogram is often going to be more to the middle than what you'd expect. And then we have some miscellaneous settings down here. We got the micro smoothing um, that's going to help smooth out edges that don't quite match, that don't look quite right you'll you'll notice it if you take it all away you'll see areas where there's halos where it just doesn't it looks like crap so you gotta put up your smoothing here we're gonna adjust that just a bit and like I said you're done when you have a picture that looks like reality um, once you have all that there you hit save and re-import and now you have an HDR image that you can then edit in Photoshop edit in Lightroom and you're gonna have yourself a nice tiff. Once you hit import, it'll bring it back. It takes a while to, to uh, save, but that's the basics that I use of Photomatics. Nothing hardcore. I don't use a lot of the batch processing. I do it one at a time because I find every picture is gonna be slightly different. You can produce some really amazing results when you shoot HDR. So have some fun.